Good morning, Barbara. Do you know what we're doing today? No, we're not sleeping and eating. We're gonna make some art. We're gonna paint the oven-baked clay that we made yesterday. Sound good to you? Uh, I'll take that as a yes. How about you, Bob? You ready to paint? Yeah, let's do this. So today we are going to be painting the oven-baked clay items that we produced in our last video. Here are all the materials that I will be using in my project today. First, I have the oven bake clay objects that I created in my video yesterday. Pretzels, rectangles, squares, hearts, balls, bowls, everything you could need. Then I have some paint, black and white to make our colors lighter and darker red, yellow, and blue, the primary colors, so that we can mix and make more colors. Brush is up here, small, medium, and large. A bowl of water with a napkin to dry off my brush. And last but not least, an egg carton so I can mix all of my colors together to make new colors. If you happen to follow along with me in the video yesterday where we made the oven baked clay, you too might have had this happen to you. Some of the objects actually cracked open a little bit. I'm not sure if this was because of the cornstarch or because I baked it too long, but whatever the case, it's okay. It just gives it a little bit more character. First things first, we need to make our color palette, meaning all of the colors that we'll be using while painting our oven baked objects. I have put red, yellow, and blue in different containers. I have put two of those colors between each other, and I'm going to show you now, mixing these colors, what we get. Red and blue. Yes, 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 a purple. Yellow and blue. You guessed it, yellow and blue makes a green. Last but not least, yellow and red. Yep, yep, yep. Yellow and red makes orange. So, I have the entire rainbow of colors. And next, I'm going to take some white, and I put a little bit of white on the opposite side of each compartment. Mix each of those opposite colors with the white to make a lighter pastel or tinted color. I've mixed all my primary red, blue, and yellow and secondary purple, green, and orange colors with white to make pastel colors. So with red we got a pink, got a lavender, a lighter purple, kind of a sky or robin egg blue, a minty green, kind of an egg yolk yellow, and a sherberty orange. I was planning on making a few darker colors using this black, but there's really nothing left. So, no darker colors today. Hey Bob, um, do you have a favorite color? No, mice aren't a color. Okay, you like orange? Because you're sitting on orange right now? Alright, I'll leave you alone. Hey Barbara, hey what's your favorite color? No, I mean besides black and white, what's your favorite color? Green? Oh, just because it's the color of your eyes? Go figure. And now, we paint!
right, and that's it for today. My hands are a total mess, but I had so much fun painting. I used so many different colors, and I painted all of my oven-baked objects. I even got in the time for a Kobe Bryant tribute bowl, and hey, what are those little mice doing here? That reminds me. Hmm. Hey, Barbara. Hey, I got you um, this green pretzel because I know your favorite color is green. Mm. You're welcome. Hey, Bob. Hey, I know you said your favorite color is orange, so I made you this orange heart. Oh, I love you too. It was very fun painting along with everybody today. And in the next video, we're actually going to be doing some drawing inspired by the painted objects we made today. So until next time, have a good day.